Hi everybody! It is Friday, the 1st of February 2019. And we are presently at 21 degrees 43 minutes north and 74 degrees 36 minutes west. That gives us about 60 miles to run to uh, San Domingo Key, uh, which will be our turning point. Uh, we're heading west-southwest, and then we're going to come to a more west-northwesterly track uh, toward the Old Bahama Channel, which is the deep water channel. Um, it's the deep water channel which runs between the Bahama Bank and Cuba. And it uh, looks like we're going to have to watch out for shipping there, too. Uh, they got all the shipping lanes marked on the chart. Um, but we had a pretty wild night last night. After a day of light airs, uh, the Northeasterlies came in with a vengeance last night. And um, about 20, 25 knots. Had to go down to a reef staysail, double reef main. And uh, we were getting knocked around quite a bit. And, uh, but we made pretty good time. Uh, it's dialed down a bit now. It's down to about 15 knots. Uh, but as you can see, we still got this leftover swell. We're still rolling like crazy here. And um, so, uh, but um, it's, uh, but we, uh, you know, the wind's from the right direction. We're making pretty good time. So I'm not going to complain about that. Now, as far as the leak situation, um, that uh, the thickened epoxy with the duct tape, uh, that's working pretty well. Um, I got the leak down to just kind of a slow weeping, and uh, I don't hear the forward bilge pump cycling anymore, and uh, the, the leak is, uh, is now just very, very slow. So, uh, uh, so possibly we got, this, we got this under control, which is a, which is a huge relief. We'll have to see how it, how it lasts over the next few days. But um, um, but at least I'm not going to be showing up. But at least I'm not going to be showing up in uh, in the Florida Keys with a badly leaking boat and uh, basically showing up at the nearest boatyard with a badly leaking boat and having to take whatever deal they offer. Um, kind of like uh, that old Hagar the Horrible cartoon where. Hagar the Viking is, uh, you, you see his Viking ship is sunk at the, uh, at the boatyard dock there. And the boatyard manager is next to him saying, well, feel free to go elsewhere for an estimate. So, so that's, so that's, so far that's good news. Um, I still can't figure out what's wrong with my stern light. Um, it, it's just blinking on and off and I can't figure out, uh, whether it's uh, either the, uh, the electrical cable has got some corrosion in it, the contacts have some corrosion. I replaced one, one end of the contacts near the battery. That didn't do anything. Um, so, um, so I'm still not sure. And in fact, I, I was using my kerosene stern light last night uh, because it wasn't working. But then uh, around after midnight, it, it suddenly came on again. Um, so I don't know what, uh, what the story with that is. Um, now our weather forecast still remains very good. Uh, east to northeasterly winds all the way through next Tuesday uh, with the only, uh, the only drawback being it sounds like Sunday, Monday time frame where they're going to get pretty light. Um, so I'll probably be digging out that big jib if not wishing I'd uh, I'd purchased a drifter for this boat, um, and uh, so it could be pretty slow sailing. But um, but they're still saying direction-wise, just east to northeast for the next five days. Uh, so that that's all good. And if they come northeast, and we're heading uh, west northwest northwest through the uh, Old Bahama Channel and toward Sal, that's actually not too bad. I mean, if it's only five to ten knots, but if it's northeast and it's a beam reach, um, we, we could make decent progress. And, um, and probably the seas will be pretty flat, too, with just a lot of light winds around. Um, so, uh, so, so far, so good. We're staying afloat. We're making progress. Got about, at this point, about 440 miles left to go to the Florida Keys. And uh, 
we keep driving around here. And uh, we'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. So it's Saturday night, February 2nd, you see the sun just went down, and uh, the winds have come back in. We got easterly, it's about 10, 12 knots, so we're, we're making good time here. And uh, we're about 40 miles from the old Bahama Channel, uh, where I'm going to have to pay much more attention to my navigation. Um, so I'm going to try to catch some sleep now. So it's about 7.30 in the evening, we're right here, and uh, we're going to enter the old Bahama Channel uh, in about 40 miles. And you can see it's, well the channel's fairly wide, but I want to stay on the north side of the shipping lane. And uh, so there's not too much room, at least initially, between uh, where, where you have deep water and where the shipping lane is. Um, so as I say, and it's, it's probably going to take us about five hours to run to that point if the wind holds. Um, so I'm going to try to catch some sleep um, so I can be a little more alert uh, once, once we get past, once, once we get into the old Bahama Channel. <clears throat> so here's one of my favorite meals at sea. Um, now, in port, generally this is something I would not eat, but uh, at sea, so you just get uh, chicken stuffing mix and uh, some canned white chicken, <coughs> can of peas, mix it all together, and um, it's delicious, especially if you have some gravy, but uh, the gravy I had, it was in an open jar, and it went bad in the icebox, so, so no gravy, but it still tastes good anyway. So here's another meal at sea, which is a good hearty sea meal, but not one I would eat uh, when I'm sitting in port, at least not uh, if I got a, near, a grocery store nearby. And this is the classic Spam Slam. So all it is is Spam, an onion, and some potatoes diced up in some olive oil, and uh, we'll just go ahead and fry that up. And it's, it's another great one-step meal. So here's another uh, great sea fare. Um, I'm going to start off sautéing some onions. I got some olive oil, Italian seasoning, garlic, and so we're just going to sauté up these onions here. Next step is pour in a can of whole baby clams, juice and all. This is actually a two-step meal, so we put our clams 
in the white sauce over on the small burner. Just let that uh, let that cook, and then boil up a big old pot of spaghetti. Then just pour the clam sauce over the spaghetti, and you have yourself a meal. Sprinkle that with a little Parmesan cheese. It tastes great. At least it's safe. Thank mm -hmm. you.